Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on PDNF that is principal disjunctive normal form. In the previous videos, we are already solving uh, four example problems on PDF with or without using truth table. Please refer that videos for and better understanding of how to solve the PDNF problem. Now, in this video, we have to solve one example problem on PDNF without using truth table. Okay. So, obtain the PDNF of P conditional, P conditional Q and negation of negation Q or negation P. Okay. So, the given formula is this one. Okay. Next step. P conditional. Okay. So, P conditional Q can be written as negation P or Q. And negation can be applied to the inner side of the uh, variables. So, negation of negation Q negation of negation q or na or negation of r is nothing but and negation of negation p okay next one so p conditional negation p or q there is no change in this term and negation of negation q that is nothing but Q and negation of negation P is nothing but P. Okay. So, here I am writing the formula. So, P conditional Q is logically equivalent to negation P or Q. Next, in this one, negation of negation Q is logically equivalent to Q. Next, negation of negation P is logically equivalent to P. Okay. Next one. So, here in the next step. So, P conditional. Okay. With the negation P, we are multiplying these two terms. Okay. So, that means negation P and Q and P. Negation P and Q and P. Here I am writing R. Next one. With Q, we are multiplying these two terms. That is Q and Q and P. We are getting. Okay. Next one. So, P conditional. Here, in between them, only underconnective is there. So, only if any underconnective combining with the three terms we are writing as a single term that is negation p and q and p okay this is first term or q and q and p that is the second term okay next one p conditional okay so here p can be uh, p can be right uh, after negation p so that is negation p and p and q or here q and q is nothing but q so this is q and p okay next one i am writing p conditional okay Negation P and P, we are already know that. So, here I am writing. So, Q and Q is logically equivalent to Q. We are already know that. Okay. Here, negation P and P is logically equivalent to false. Okay. So, here negation P and P, here I am writing false. False and Q. Okay, R, Q and P. Okay, so here this one. 
next one so here p conditional false and q so false and q what is the logical equivalent false and q suppose in the place of q i am substituting true value okay true and false is nothing but false here in the place of q i am substituting false value false and false that is nothing but false okay so in both cases okay whatever the truth value we are substituting in the place of q we are getting the result false so false and q is logically equivalent to false okay so this is a false false are q and p okay next one so here p conditional okay here what we are getting false r q and p okay is logically equivalent to in the place of q and p we are substituting true value true or false is nothing but true in the place of q and p we are substituting false value false or false is nothing but false so whatever the value truth value substituting in the place of q and p so the same truth value we are getting the result so that false or q and p is nothing but q and p okay that means false or something is nothing but something okay so here q and p we are getting okay next one here this total term can be treated as q p conditional q we are already know that p conditional q is logically equivalent to so negation p or q according to that this is a p this is a q so negation p or q q is nothing but q and p okay then it can be written as negation p and true or so here q and p i am writing okay next uh, this can be written as negation p and so here the missing term is a q in the first term so it can be written as q or negation q or it can be written as p and q according to the commutative law i am writing p and q in the place of q and p next apply the distributive law okay here i am applying the distributive law distributive law okay next here negation p and q negation p and q are next negation p and negation q are p and q okay so this is the main term this is the main term this is the main term these main terms are connected by using or connective okay so therefore this is the required pdn this is the required pdn because three main terms are connected by using or connective hence it is the required pdn negation p and q is one main term negation p and negation q is another main term and p and q is another main term these main terms are connected by using or connective that means disjunctions of main terms so this is the required pdnf for the given formula this is the procedure we have to follow for getting the equivalent pdnf for the given formula so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel link so devela srinivasarao thank you